let's take a look at this urban pod hotel it occupies one floor of this building once you check in you get a key like this these are your uh, shoe lockers which work with the key you can wear your shoes into the pod that's how the hallway looks has some interesting pictures that's how the room looks each room has about 10 pods you unlock your pod with the key and open the metal door there are two pods one stacked over the other i got the upper one it costs around uh, 1100 or uh, 15 dollars or so you also get free breakfast included in the price feels like you are in a spaceship you get these when you check in you get really comfortable pillows two of them these are the headphones which you use to listen to the TV and it's connected here that's the AC vent you can adjust it by turning the knob that's how the console looks press this to unlock the door you also get two reading lights which are controlled using these touch sensory buttons you can have one of them or uh, both of them this is supposed to be a timer function i think they have disabled it you get a power port and even a tiny locker I couldn't figure how to make it work even after uh, reading those instructions and I also didn't want to disturb people in other parts with all the beeps you need to put the pod key in there for all these things to work this is the mirror light that's how it looks when it's switched off and on and the room also gets a big led light on top which also can be controlled with those uh, switches and you can just press one button to get to sleep mode it turns off everything but you still get these glowing lights so that you can uh, turn them on easily You also get two USB ports on either side to charge your phones or uh, other gadgets. There is a smoke detector in the pod. That's how the TV looks. You get a remote to control it. TV is quite big and you can uh, use these headphones to listen to it. And the headphones come with the uh, covers on them. There is also space for you to change your clothes. That's how the washroom looks. Those are the sinks. You also get a washroom with shower and toilet. And they provide complimentary soap. There are quite a few washrooms with a different options some have only toilets some have only showers some have both this is their uh, cafe where free breakfast is served 
as you are not allowed to take food inside the pot you can order food from outside and uh, eat it here that's the view from the cafe there is metro work going on which will be opening soon i think most cities should have these uh, pod hotels you get about 10 to 15 items in the buffet breakfast and a really unique hotel surprisingly comfortable pods quite nice check it out let's take a look at this instant soup powder this is corn soup by lady Anne. suitable for our vegetarians soup to go no trans fat 80 calories no msg added instant corn soup powder you just need to add 200 ml of water that's the nutritional info ingredients are a non-dairy creamer glucose syrup palm oil sodium caseinate potato starch salt sugar spice mixes white pepper garlic onion spring onion freeze dried corn flakes hydrolyzed soy protein anti caking agent corn flavor thickening agent yeast extract powder flavor enhancer and uh, cheese powder it's a product of thailand this costs around uh, 99 rupees or a dollar and 50 cents That's how much you get. So let's make some. That's how it looks. Let's taste it. It's flavored uh, really nicely. Really hot and uh, thick corn soup. Not too salty comforting and uh, really delicious quite nice check it out let's take a look at this body yogurt this is from the body shop this is British rose body yogurt costs around uh, 845 rupees or around uh, 12 dollars or so this is made in Germany, 100% vegan, forever against animal testing, dermatologically tested, formulated without mineral oil and uh, paraffin, enriched with the uh, community trade organic almond milk, 48 hours moisturizing, instantly absorbing and a uh, non-sticky gel cream can be applied on a damp skin after a shower all skin types so let's see how this smells melts into your uh, skin has a really nice faint rose smell it feels really good quite nice check it out 
let's take a look at this yarn bird whole chicken at a El Fuego by Collins in a jewel mall in a Singapore that's how the restaurant looks this is rose milk macchiato costs around 450 rupees or a eight dollars or so amazing rose milk flavor so delicious this was springtime drink another uh, really interesting one similarly priced nice carbonation and uh, flavor those were the fries cost around uh, 600 rupees or uh, 10 dollars or so soft in the middle and uh, crunchy on the outside that's the whole bird that's how it looks once they cut it really nicely grilled tastes so amazing really delicately flavored so you can really taste the chicken you also get a sauce with it which you don't even need because it's so flavorful the whole chicken costs 1600 or uh, 22 dollars or so everything was really delicious quite nice check it out let's take a look at this horror game app it's a really fun and relaxing game you have to fold the paper to fit it into those lines that's pretty much it and you get five moves to do it And it's surprisingly fun to do and once you earn enough points you can get different skins or a different paper these are all the ones I have unlocked I only open this app like three to four times but I'm already at level 199 so it is kind of addictive It is really relaxing to play. Quite a fun paper folding game. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at these uh, black truffle chips. These are by Torres. This costs around uh, 350 rupees or uh, 5 dollars or so. These are uh, premium chips. That's the ingredient list. Potatoes, sunflower oil, salt, dehydrated black 
summer truffle and a truffle flavoring so let's taste it that's how it looks you can already smell the truffle quite oily and uh, amazing truffle flavor it's crunchy and uh, quite delicious you will really love this if you like black truffles such an uh, earthy tasting potato chips quite nice check it out let's take a look at these uh, gucci perfumes this costs around uh, 3500 or uh, $50 or so simple packaging you get four uh, travel sized perfumes inside this is also really nice way to try these expensive perfumes so let's smell them interesting to see each one of them gets a smaller packaging this is the Gucci bamboo really unique looking bottle Fragrance notes are uh, Bergamot, Ylang Ylang, and uh, Casablanca Lily, and uh, Orange Blossom, and then an uh, intense sandalwood smell. I think it was Lily and Sandalwood. Really nice fragrance. This is the Gucci Guilty. That's how it looks. The fragrance notes are mandarin, pink pepper, peach, lilac, amber and uh, picholi. Really interesting smell. Quite a delicate smell compared to the bamboo one. This is Gucci Bloom. The fragrance notes are uh, tuberose, jasmine and uh, rangoon creeper. I'm really not sure about this one, even though it's floral. This is another Gucci bloom. The fragrance notes are uh, jasmine buds, rangoon creeper and uh, tuberose. This has a musky base. Even though both of these have a pretty similar fragrance notes, this smells so much more amazing than this one. I think this is best out of the four. This one, then this and this is the last one. 
really interesting packaging with unique fragrances quite nice check it out let's take a look at this brown sugar boba milk found this at Shopee mall in Singapore it's from R&B tea these are some of their uh, interesting drinks that's how the store looks this is their uh, brown sugar boba with cheese balls costs around uh, 300 rupees or uh, 4 dollars or so the price is in Singapore dollars and I went with 50% sugar it's a really thick milk drink with a brown sugar sauce at the base the milk is cold and the brown sugar sauce is warm so you get a really unique temperatures and it has those cheese balls which are in the brown sugar sauce so they too are warm and uh, squishy the milk is thick and creamy and the brown sugar sauce is uh, sweet and uh, sticky so many amazing things happening in this drink such an amazing temperature texture and uh, flavor combination quite nice check it out I think this is one of my favorite drinks sadly I found this on the last day of my Singapore visit Let's take a look at this luminous spinner. This costs around uh, 140 rupees or uh, two dollars or so. You get a ball with magnets in it with a different orientation, and you get a ring with two different magnetic poles. You are supposed to spin this and try to control it with the ring. It's also quite tricky to do in such a small space. But let's try. Once you figure out the rhythm, you can actually keep it going with the magnet. Quite a fun toy to play around. Quite nice. Check it out. While testing it, it fell a few times. I think that's why the LED inside is not working. 